Hey guys, what's up? This is Kowalski from Tempart Warrior Airsoft. Um, here today I'm going to show you how to install a speed trigger into your fusion engine as well as properly cut the line for, say, an amp grip connect. Um, what I have here is a Gen 2 version 2 uh, fusion engine with already a speed trigger installed as well as the line cut. Um, in addition, it has a red nozzle for which I have installed as well as a full auto mod for a King Arms body for which this is going in. But for now, we can put this over here. What I have here is a brand new Gen 3 version 2 engine straight from Polar Star. Here's what it is out of the box. Fire control unit. Um, with these new Gen 3s, you can see they've engraved the Polar Star logo into the side, um, and these have 200 psi of solenoids in them, which the Gen 2s also had, I believe. Um, so we can go ahead and get right into the install of the trigger. Um, for the, for air, for trigger installs, I like to um, take off both face plates. Um, just makes it easier, so you can see everything. Here's the main face plate. Here's the trigger housing. Trigger comes out standard just like any other wood with an AEG. Kind of lift it up and there's the spring. Place that over there. <clears throat> Inside you have a micro switch, which is what fires the solenoids. Uh, it's pretty easy to notice. Okay. Here I have a speed trigger. Um, these speed triggers, they are a little bit bigger um, than a stock trigger that comes with the fusion engine. So you will have to grind off um, some of the part that comes in contact with the micro switch as well as where the uh, set screw is sitting. Um, this trigger has already been um, dremeled a little bit and set to where I would like it. So we can go ahead and just install it into the fusion engine. Like so. Cover back on. Make sure everything lines up. A nice short trigger pull. Go ahead and put the rest of the faceplate on. And there you have it. They have a nice speed trigger installed. Pretty short trigger pull. We can go ahead and test the new FCU that came with it.
plug in the data cable to the FCU. Have a battery here. And switch it to semi. Hit a solenoids click and full auto. Everything sounds good to me. <clears throat> Go ahead and disconnect the battery and the cable from the FCU. Now, um, I've also purchased a amp grip line for this Fusion engine. Um, I actually have grip lines on all my Polar Stars. Um, they're pretty flexible. You, know, you don't have to worry about the line bending and breaking. Um, so basically, you can cut your line using a very sharp knife, um, preferably a box cutter of some sorts. Um, I've already marked where I wanted this to be cut. You go ahead and press down, make a nice clean cut, like so. And then when you install this into um, a body, make sure that this line is not flush with uh, your pistol grip, otherwise this can come loose. So basically all you gotta do is slide this over, just push down until it comes out, and you can go ahead and um, place this in back into your body. So that's all. Um, if you guys want to see more videos, uh, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more tech videos for Polar Star, um, as well as gameplay from our team. Until um, next time, Kowalski out.